Alright guys, today's video here, we're going to talk about the LG G Watch and Android Wear. And I'm just going to go kind of through a full review of my thoughts on this device, on Android Wear, what it comes with, and just kind of an overview of the device. So let's go ahead and get into this. First off, let's go ahead and show you guys what it comes with. Right here you can see this is the watch and the box. Um, basically, besides that, you have a uh, power brick and a USB cord right here. Um, but, this thing doesn't actually have any USB ports on it. Um, but what it does have is, you can see nothing on the sides here either. Nothing there. What it has is these little pins on the back here. What are there? Five of them. All right. So what it comes with is this, and this does have a, a USB port on it right there, and um, pretty plain and simple. There's actually kind of a couple of features about this that are actually kind of nice. So one of them is you can see this little plastic tab right here. Um, if you peel that up, this thing is sticky on the bottom, and you can stick it down somewhere, and it'll kind of suction to it. Um, and what's nice is if you want to move it, you just peel a corner and slowly peel it up. It'll pop free. You can wipe it down and then you can use it again anywhere else. So that's a nice feature of the charging dock here that I'm really happy about. The other feature that is very nice is that it um, magnetizes right into place on this thing. Um, it's just got magnets that hold it in place and hold the pins in, in line so that it can charge. So that's that's a very cool feature that I've seen anyway. Let's go ahead and just show you show you what I mean by the magnetism on it. I mean, you can just kind of float this thing down over it and it'll suck it kind of up on there. That was a little crooked, but um, it just sucks it right in, holds it exactly where it needs to do for charging, um, and is a very nice, very nice uh, charging dock for it. I like uh, the magnet. I like the suction on the back. It just it's just a very nice setup for it. Very very nice. All right, so besides the charging dock and the cables, you know, this stuff's the standard stuff. Very cool, definitely a nice charging dock, like I'm saying. Um, here you go. Uh, here is some cool stuff right here. Now, I just got a notification from uh, Matt. Okay, tell me when. Well, right now, Matt. So just to show you how this functions, um, here's this is the text messages and Hangouts. And basically, if I want to respond to a message on my watch, once it's sunk to my device, I can scroll over and I can just hit reply. Right now, Matt, I'm making the video right now. There you go. And then you can see, you can hit cancel if you didn't say the right words. Otherwise, it replies and um, it'll be in the messages. So, very, very cool. Very neat. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and bring this up close and I'm actually going to show you guys uh, how this thing and how you navigate it and then I'm going to show you guys the Android Wear application that you need to install for this to work correctly. So let's go ahead and uh, bring it up close here. Sorry about the glare. Alright so basically this is how it functions. If you swipe up this swipes through your notifications. So here's an XDA uh, notification I have on my device for my uh, Tegra Note 7. Here's an email I have in Yahoo. This is my uh, steps, so this is a pedometer that's uh, built into the device and if you scroll over you can see history and you can go to settings of the pedometer. So here you go, there's some history of my, my steps walking around, stuff like that, so very cool. And there's history again and then there's that and you keep scrolling. This is a reminder that my buddy's birthday is today because it's all hooked with Google now, the watches. So that's just something that comes in there. Here's the weather. You can scroll over. You can see the four day basically. Your weather forecast which is cool. Um, and then you can tap here and open the weather on your phone. So what I found is that as you're going through all of the notifications like here's one that you can go in here and you have you can open the open it on your phone. You can't actually respond to it or read anything more than just the notification. But if you're up here on um, Gmail now you can actually tap on it and I can now actually scroll pretty much the entire email 
and then I can swipe over and I can archive the email or I can hit reply and go ahead and reply there and dictate to my phone or I can open it on my phone. So there's more options with the, I guess you would say, Google applications that are on here than with other ones. So again, here's Matt Groff and it's the same kind of thing. You know, we can open up the conversation and scroll through some of the conversation um, and reply to it or open it on the phone. So very, very cool. There is some neat features in it. Um, one of the things that I always like to point out is right here, This, if you pull it down really quick, you see it changed it and there's a little silent thing. So that's silence your watch because it does vibrate every time you get a notification. And then that unsilences it. You also have, which is hard to see here, I'll try to show you. You have the date and then if I can pull over, right, I do it real careful like right in there under my thumb it says 85 that's my battery life so you can see both those things uh, underneath there very very nice um, that also swipes it away so that just cleared out that notification from Matt um, I'll clear this one out and now they are swiped off and this does remove them from your phone notification bar as well as your watch alright so then I'm gonna show you a couple more functionalities of this thing so one of them is if you hold down on your clock you can change your clock screen. So I'm going to give you guys another clock screen that's kind of neat looking. Let's see here. Where's another good one? Some of these are I don't really think are pretty lame, but let's see what else I can find. So like here's a cool looking one. So there you go. Now you have that clock face. If you want to use a clock face like that, you can change it by doing the hold down and then changing your clock face. Also, you can get into um, Google Now just by saying it. Okay, Google. Uh, what is the weather today? And you can give it some different commands and you can see it comes up with stuff. Okay, Google. And then say nothing here and I can swipe up and it gets into all of my device settings. So it gives you examples of things you can do like here it says uh, take a note or remind me to or show me my steps or send a text message or email Eve or agendas or navigation so these are all like recommendations of things you can say to the thing along with like start stopwatch and set alarm show alarms and then you have down here these last two which are pretty important one of them is settings alright so there you go so you can adjust your brightness your uh, always on screen on airplane mode power off restart Reset device would be like a factor reset, I think. Um, change watch face, which I showed you how to do the other way by touching the watch face. About, right here, you can come in and see that you're running software version 4.4W, which is for where, um, build numbers, battery information, system updates, and so on. Now, to go back, you should be able to just swipe that way. That direction is always a back swipe. And you can see, there you go, we're back into it. Um, and we can get back in again swipe up and we can get into all these things lastly I want to show you is start and this actually has some applications built into it that you can actually start and launch from here so um, for example you can have your compass you can have fit which is that health tracker pedometer here's flopsy droid a game I downloaded Google keep tic-tac-toe and world clock um, so pretty cool this is how you would launch your applications but you can also launch any of these with the OK Google command like this. OK Google. Oh, sorry, I was already in it. Start tic tac toe. And instead of going in there and doing that, this should go ahead and start the tic tac toe application. So you can see, you know, you play a little tic tac toe on here, and I'll swipe out of it. So there we go. Um, but that's basically your interface on your watch. Now, we've gone through this, it's kind of a long video here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you your interface on the phone and how it works and connects to your device. So let me show you that and we'll set this thing down. Alright, so here you go, this is Android Wear, this is the application that launches. Um, and it actually says LG G Watch on here on this banner up top, which is kind of cool because um, it just knows that when it connects to it. So basically you turn on your Bluetooth on your device. Here's my Bluetooth right up top. And then it'll walk you through some connecting to the device right when you start the application. Very simple to connect. Very, very simple. 
and then it'll come up it'll have this banner and it'll have all of these uh, buttons down here so there's just some some nice stuff in here it's very cool uh, you basically you want to hear here you can actually pick applications you want to do different things so for note taking I have keep chosen but if you had another note taking application you could pick it there um, and then like this is the same thing for any of this stuff so show clock if you had another clock application you could pick a different one there if you want to use something different and that's basically how you use this um, also you can click right here and it'll bring you right to the Android Wear applications that work with Android Wear and on, on Google Play so that's very nice if you want to search through those to find out any new imp new applications that you might want to use on your device um, also up here you have this connect button right here and that right there would disconnect from the watch and the watch is still on but it's it's standalone it's got a little disconnect icon up there in the top and then you just hit it again and it reconnects boom you're already connected it's very simple to reconnect to your phone to your watch next you have settings up here so you can mute notifications from certain applications so uh, page manager I went ahead and muted and here you can pick any other one so if it's if it's an app that you get a notification from that you really just don't want to see on your watch that's fine you can just mute that application and it will not send your notification to the watch and I did that right here with page manager Facebook page manager there um, hide cards and different things you can adjust here basic settings um, debugging over Bluetooth if you want to use ADB debugging and that kind of stuff resync applications and so on this is your settings on Android Wear application so there you go that's gonna be the basic um, setup here for Android Wear on the LG G watch now let me actually talk about a little bit of the build material on the watch and then just give you kind of my overview of the device alright so right here you can see this is just basically a, a shiny black on matte black along the edge um, you flip it over and you see those pins standard matte black four screws in the corners um, there's not really a lot here for design that's really all that interesting you do have a little mic on the bottom there for picking up your voice and 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 right there so this is very it's pretty much kind of a kind of a plain watch um, doesn't really stick out too much it actually fits on your wrist really nicely uh, also this is actually a very much a, like a, a rubbery uh, wristband which is um, pretty pretty sweet um, I like it it's comfortable it stays on my wrist really nicely and let me show you actually a couple other things that are neat about this watch once you're wearing it so let me show you that really quick here alright so you can see I've got this watch on my wrist here and it's it's kind of a darked out screen well what's nice about the watch is when you flip it up to look at it it actually turns the screen on so I flip it up and shabam the screen turns on and I can now do my OK Google commands or whatever I want to do with it and it'll do it and you see if you don't do nothing it turns back out to dim out that's how it maintains its battery and the battery life on this thing is really really good so I'm very very happy about that and you can see I mean it's a nice looking watch it really does fit good it doesn't actually look too bulky um, I like I was a little worried about that but uh, it does actually fit really nicely battery life on this thing does last me all stinking day I am not joking absolutely all day uh, no problem use it a lot and it still lasts me so very very cool always have 20 percent battery 30 percent battery at an end of a day even an 18 20 hour day it still has definite definite battery life overall I like the watch um, I'm not normally a watch person but it is it is nice it does have some good features I like having it on when my phone's charging in the house and uh, I still want to get my notifications but I have my phone on me because I want to let it charge I really like it for that it's very nice because I can just walk around the house still get all my notifications and I'm not actually with my phone so I definitely love that feature of it uh, for sure so there you go guys that is going to be my video here of the LG G watch kind of overview of Android Wear I know this has been a long video but I hope you guys have enjoyed it and it's been very informative for you um, if you haven't noticed, I do have a giveaway going for this device actually right here and a bunch of other devices. So you might want to check out that video over there at rootjunkie.com or uh, on my YouTube page as well, obviously. So there you go, guys. That's going to be it. Hope you guys like it. We'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.
Alright guys, stay tuned for more videos on this device. I will be doing a bunch of them considering I found out that you can unlock the bootloader on your watch. What? Say what? Yes, you heard me right. Bootloader unlockable. Very, very cool. This means development will happen. Yes. Okay, Google. Play music. Yeah, check this out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it gets better. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to go to the next song? Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Well, previous, no, we liked that other song. That other song was pretty good. What's up? Yes, right. I control my music with my voice and my watch. Wiki cool. Right there. Check it. Mm, 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 mm. This is my jam! No, it's not, actually. It's just free music that isn't copyrighted. 